Okay, just a quick little update here on my indoor hot tub setup. Uh, one thing I had to do pretty quickly is I just put regular hit light LED strips on the underneath side there, not the water, not the outdoor waterproof type. Because because it was underneath the ledge, I, I didn't think it'd get wet, but what happens when you when you make a big splash and it hits the floor, it can bounce back up into the LED strips, and the regular strips are not waterproof at all. So I started having problems with them. So I've taken uh, I taken I took off the non-waterproof ones and installed uh, the waterproof LED strips there now. Uh, I think uh, these actually look better than the original non-waterproof strips that I had in there. Uh, but as you can see, it still looks pretty much the same. This time around, I did a little bit better job back here where the plug is, so I can unplug and take the step portion off. Uh, so anyhow, that's one of the changes I made. Added a few knickknacks since I made the first video. Uh, these are little uh, waterproof lights that I got around the outside of the tub. Uh, they are waterproof. They're meant to run on AA batteries, but I put a plug in there and just use little remote control rechargeable lithium ion batteries. Uh, probably lasts about 12 hours in between having to charge them, uh, so they don't look too bad. Add a little dolphin up there. Uh, I don't think it'll show up on 3D on the camera, but that looks 3D to the eyeball. I don't know how it's going to show up on the camera, but added that. Uh, I had I showed those tables in the first one, uh, but I was using my computer out here on this second uh, on this second stand here. But that that one's always going to be for my drinks and the remote controls and all that. Uh, but what I did is I uh, ex ex used a USB cable extender on my computer in the living room that's hooked up to the entertainment entertainment equipment. So now the the, the keyboard signal will reach out here. So now I just use a wireless keyboard out here most of the time, and I can. Uh, I can use my remote control here, switch over to my computer input from the living room. And there's my computer and then I just uh, flip the keyboard on here. And as you can see I've now got control of my, uh, of my computer that's hooked up to the living room entertainment system. So. Now I can still I still have my power cord for the computer hooked up out here, so I could still take this off and put my uh, put my key, uh, put my laptop on there if I want. But I find it's more convenient just using that wireless keyboard. So that was another change I made. Uh, another change I made is uh, I found it was getting humid in here. Even though I'm controlling the AC in here, it's, you know it's a hot summertime here in Texas, so it's the hottest time of the year. Uh, but even at 75 degrees, it was still feeling uncomfortable in the air, still feeling like it was too hot. And that was because of the humidity level. This is a pretty small room, as you can see. Uh, and it was just the humidity level because you're sitting in 100 degree temperature water and the, the moisture rises. Uh, it was, the humidity was just too high. So what I did is I just put in an exhaust fan. That's 240 CFM. Uh, fan. Uh, you can probably hear the hum on it a little bit. It adds a little bit of hum to the room, but it's not too bad. Uh, and it definitely takes care of the humidity problem. Now I can sit in here when it's 75, when I've got the room temperature set for 75 degrees and I'm sitting in the 99 degree water, uh, the air temperature feels just perfect. And of course you got the fan up above blown. Okay, and then the last thing I did is I, is I added a mirror to the ceiling. There was an old, ugly looking fluorescent light right above the hot tub, didn't look very good. Uh, so now this covers up that, that light that I wasn't using anyway. I'll show you what that looks like uh, uh, when you're sitting in the hot tub, but you can see from here, you can see the reflection of everything there. All I did was just shoot, buy $5 cheap mirrors from Walmart, tore the frames off of them, used Loctite power grip, glued, put, put that power grip glue on the back, push them up into place, that, that, that Loctite power, power grip glue works great. Those are thin enough, light enough mirrors that I just press them up in place uh, and they stay right there. Uh, so they stay right in place at, with using that Loctite type power grip. 
Uh, so it's very inexpensive what I use. One, two, three, four, five, six, six panels. So, so 30 bucks is all it took to do that. And like I said, I'll get in the hot tub and show you what that looks like. I'm gonna let, let it get a little bit darker. It's not quite all the way dark outside yet. So in any event, uh, that's an update on some changes I've made. I think this is gonna be my final setup now. I think I'm pretty happy with everything. Uh, the way it's set up now Everything looks great if you ask me so uh, let me get in a hot tub and I'll show you what the What the mirror looks like above and what the view looks like from above from inside the hot tub and then that'll do it It occurred to me. I didn't have the hot tub light on uh, I think it makes a difference on those the red highlights on that side edge and then having the blue light in the middle uh, and keep in mind uh, all those all those lights around the outside uh, the lights around the hot tub itself the light around the TV screen the color of the dolphin I can change the LED colors of all those lights so uh, if you don't like the blue and red theme you can use there's an unlimited number of lighting schemes that you can use I kind of like the blue mostly blue with the red highlight stuff is what I like so in any event just want to mention that about the LED lights Okay, and the view from within the hot tub, it's not quite dark yet. Starting to get there. I love my little dolphin there. I don't think the 3D will show up on camera like it does the eyeball, but... And then, uh... That's the view from the mirror. Looking down. I don't think my camera's focusing. Probably because of the mirror. Oh shit. Oh well, nothing I can do about that. Let me see if I zoom in if it focuses. Doesn't seem to want to focus. But you can see the reflection of the fireplace and the TV in the mirror. Your dolphin, you get the red glow off the, the LED light down below there. So I think it looks pretty cool. So yeah, I'll take one more shot when it gets a little bit darker and that'll, that'll do it. And the keyboard just slides right on over here. My arm rests right there on the on the side of the rail. And I can just uh, very comfortably work on my computer, uh, watching it on the screen. All I gotta do is switch it over to my computer, uh, and that works really, really good. And then when you don't want to use it, just push it out of the way. Drinks and everything's right here within within easy re reach, particularly my e smoke. So, yeah, one more shot, and that'll do it. Okay, last shot showing uh, what it looks like with the uh, with the lights or with it completely dark. So it's dark outside now. This is the view from where I normally sit in the hot tub. Once again, my, my 3D dolphin. And then uh, that's the view from up above. Uh, it looks like there's pink lights there. There's not. It's uh, just the way the camera picks it up, and it won't focus. I'm sure because uh, because I'm looking at a mirror. No, not gonna focus. But anyhow, it gives you an idea. You can see all the reflection in the ceiling fireplace TV the dolphin so that's the view from above there's just not enough light in the room it doesn't want to focus on anything doesn't want to focus on anything because it's too dark in here I bet it'll focus on the TV. Yeah. Everything else is too dark for it to focus. But in any event, uh, 
LEDs at night uh, doesn't look the same on the camera as they do with your eyeball, but gives you an idea.